Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm showing one of my worst consoles in my collection. And I had to think about it. You know, I have a lot of terrible things, and this kind of hits kind of the, the top mark for bad. And a lot of it has to do for multiple things. And so the thing I want to show today on camera is this. It's a PowerJoy Navigator. And what makes this one of my worst consoles in my library is it's a terrible design. It even though it does supposedly play Famicom carts, it's it's using joysticks and it's just everything about this and it was sold in the United States. And so this is something that's been in my collection, you know, probably well over a decade. I do believe I bought it at like a big lot or a store like that. You know, I, it's hard to remember exactly where I bought it. But I wanted to show it to you, I wanted to unbox it, and actually try to play a couple games on it. So here we go. So here it is, the worst console in my collection. And I'm going to talk about it, unbox it, showcase some games. I could have picked something like, you know, another console that didn't do well on, on the market, like, you know, an Atari 5200. But I, the truth is, I actually like the Atari 5200, and I like it a lot. So here we go. Power Joy, and they made Fama clones back in the day. And so I am going to show you just to kind of unbox this. It comes with your standard AV cables and power cord. Try not to squeak the foam too much. So it's the Power Joy Navigator 50 games. So essentially, this is a Fama clone. And here's the design of this. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. This is joystick and you have the buttons there with the buttons there and AV cable and power cord go there. And then it has just a weird, wow, that's a weird jack. I've never seen one like that. So proprietary jack looks like. And like that so that is the first step of this controller console and here's the second one and this goes on the other side and then this thing what a weird so proprietary controller jack port or jack that's uh, that's the worst because and then that goes in the back here Okay, and then plugging it in. And then I think this, is this batteries? Okay, where does, okay, nope. Yep, this is where the cartridge port, and that's where I think Famicom, uh, Famicom games go right there into that port there. Interesting, it's got like a cheap cover that kind of pops off. And then you can run this thing on batteries. I mean, this is so bad, it's almost cool. It's just one of those things, ah. Anyways, the battery's going there, I can't get it out. <laughs> it runs on four AA batteries. Okay, let's see, does it have, oh, it's got instructions. Well, let me look at those. PowerJoy Navigator. Gameplay talks about the different the different games. But I actually think these might be original. We'll see. To connect to via video VCR machine. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Lots of lots of bad stuff here. But it does have a manual. I'm trying to look for a date. Alright. So let's let's test this bad boy. 
All right, I want to show a couple interesting things about this dual joystick console thing. So what you're looking at is the entire console. There isn't really like a base unit. It's just two joysticks. And they look exactly the same. Ironically enough, this is the main unit and it's got on, reset, select, and start. On the second player controller, which is this one, it is the top two buttons are disabled. And what's funny, so there's like a, a port where you can put in a cartridge. On this one, it, it's there, but there's no way to open it up. So I thought that was really interesting. You can faintly see where it would be right there. Really interesting. And I just, the things, the reason why this is just a terrible, a terrible console is that it's a, it's a joystick. And like, you know, the joysticks are great for PCs and, you know, some classic ar arcade stuff and definitely for Atari, but not for Famicom. So let's look here, you know, I'm gonna look up here and zoom in on the games. All right, here's the menu. And again, this is just a really interesting combination of, you know, it looks like Famicom games, but they are original. I've never played any of these and there is 50. And you know, there's some sport games on here and Catcher. So Catcher is first game on here. You gotta check it out. Or the Strike Mouse. And it's kind of like Whack-A-Mole from what I've played. And really weird characters to, oh, she's baby. Oh no. So I think you have to get the gophers. Really sensitive joystick too, so it's it's really touchy and you can easily it'll easily register the wrong hit. So yeah, really, really interesting. Go ahead and do military man. And it's war, huh? So yeah, it's it's weird. You got this weird, you have two buttons. And you know what's interesting about this joystick is you can yeah, so, it's, so you have to kill get the guy in the green. And you grab Interesting sound choice too. I think uh, some of these games will have like recycled sound from other So grab it, you can dodge Huh. All right, I'm bored already. Underground mission. That sounds cool. Is it cool though? Underground mission. Underground mission. Sh should you choose to accept. Oh. Okay, so it's like you have like a Huh. Okay. Can I go down? Okay, I can't go there. Weird controls. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. I mean, it's cool it comes with games. By the way, I tried putting this cartridge into an AVS. No dice. I thought, oh, it'd be cool if the, you know, this multi-cart, because the cartridge is really tiny, but it didn't, it didn't, it didn't register in the AVS. I didn't try it in a Famiclone, though. Space Shuttle, all right. Maybe Space Shuttle. Maybe one of these is a ripoff. Maybe they're all original. I don't know. All right, so go ahead and try Space Shuttle. One player. Oh. All right, it's a shooter. Interesting. <laughs> the most aggressive space shuttle game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> oh, geez. It's fast. Fast is not necessarily good. Wow, it's really hard to control with this joystick. Ah.
Okay. Have to try Octopus. Now, Octopus, to me, reminds me of, like, a Game & Watch game. So let's see if it's a ripoff. Octopus, here we go. Nope. It's like a Pac-Man. Very fast. Holy cow, fast. So you can go on land. But you have to avoid the... It's actually not bad. Oh! Interesting. Oh, no. Got to avoid the octopus. It's actually not bad. I like Pac-Man style games though. Huh. Interesting premise. Kind of works though. This this control this design of this this controller though, it makes it just near impossible to play. So there it is, Power Joy Navigator. And you know, if you really don't like somebody, you'll play this with them too. And so <laughs> I just wanted to show it, you know, it's it's kind of an older clone console, something that probably is not flown around too much, but you know, it's probably one of my worst consoles just because of terrible design. It's a pirate and it was actually, you know, sold on shelves at a retail store in the United States. So yeah, just terrible. And I know there's a lot of pirate console stuff out there, but uh, just for multiple reasons, this is what I pick is my worst console. So. Thank you so much for people continuing to tune in to my humble channel as I march towards 60,000 subs. I appreciate everybody commenting on my videos. It means the world to me. And, you know, still doing three videos a week. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it, everybody with their, their positive comments. And, you know, I look forward to showing some great content in the future. So stay tuned. You can also support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month you can get an exclusive video every month. Thank you so much. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Take care.